What's up everybody, it is Daydreams, thanks for coming back to the channel for another Clash Royale video. If you're new here, we do streams every day, we do videos every day, and we're starting to do tournaments every single day. So make sure you guys tell your clan about the channel, and hopefully we can grow here like we did in Clash of Kings. So, guys don't hate me, but I actually have been playing the Expo deck, and I've been having a lot of success with it. It's only a 3.1 deck, everything's cheap but the two siege buildings, and I must say, I'm doing really well with it, and... You know, if it works, I'm going to do it, and I'm going to play challenges with it, and I don't care what people say, I don't care how much they complain, it's in the game. So, you know, it's here's the thing about the Expo, it's not like anybody can pick up an Expo deck and, like, win with it. You have to know all the intricacies of the deck, you have to know when to time things, like, you know, you have to pick up people's patterns if they start dropping minions, you got to drop the fire spirits, or if they drop barbs, fire spirits, if they drop, like, uh, pe mini P.E.K.K.A., you drop the skeleton army or prince, any, like, single targeting unit. Um, so you, you've got to be smart with it, and, uh, actually I just hit a free super magical chest as you've seen on the thumbnail of the video, so I'm super stoked about that, and, uh, yeah, I actually recorded, started recording, but I didn't have my volume on, so I just restarted, I won my crown chest, I just won another match on the ladder, we're getting really close to our personal best, 3770, I'm gonna push for 4k with the expo, and I hope I can do it this week, so let's go ahead and open the crown chest. Mm, nothing great. Bomb tower. Okay, so. I'm trying to wait until the graveyard comes out in three days to open this super magical chest. But I really, really, really want to open this super magical chest. So, if we go 3-0 on this grand challenge for the video, I will go ahead and open the super magical chest. But, you know, I've been playing so many grand challenges since they came out, guys. That I haven't been playing the X or playing on the ladder much. I I try to keep a chest working at all times, but I th even failed at that. So let's go ahead and get into this battle. So I'm gonna try to tell you about the deck as I play it. Um, this isn't a terrible starting hand. I do not like dropping the expo right away. I don't want to let them know I have it. I like them to make the first move. I'd rather see what they have. So we've got the princess there. He did a really good job there. I do not like playing the Expo on Zero Elixir. Ah, uh, see, that's not good. You just gotta try to keep everything off the Expo. Make them keep playing stuff, and that's the whole goal is to just up. Uh, yep, yeah, he made a good move with the log. But we pretty much evened up the damage, and he had to use that log, which means... You guys know what that means, right? He don't have the log for the princess. He don't have the log for the princess. So we're going to drop that princess in the back, and it's going to shoot across the map for us. We're going to drop it now and make him think we're at 10 already. So when he drops this stuff this time, we're going to be dropping that... I'm probably going to go ahead and drop the Inferno Tower, like right here. Uh, that was really a bad idea of me. I shouldn't have dropped those fire spirits. That was a waste of two elixir. I would have been perfectly fine. Um, that was just a big dummy head of me. Alright. Man, I tell you what, that building is, uh, really annoying. See, that was just a waste of, uh... Alright, I kept some health on it. He's going to use the log now, though. Well, Alright, I think we're still doing okay, though. He's going to zap it. He's going to zap those. Oh wow, he made a really bad move. Look, I got that. We're doing okay here. I knew he's going to use that log, so then I was able to drop my princess down too.
All right, I was putting those down for minions. Keeping everything off of it. Keeping everything off the expo. Keeping everything off the expo. It's beautiful, right? I mean, do you guys see the, the magic in it? We didn't take much damage, and uh, really, the only damage we took was at the beginning when I wasn't really paying attention. So, this time I'm going to try to pay more attention and be more focused, but while explaining this deck to you guys. So, if you try it, if you're fortunate enough to have a level 4 expo, uh, that's the bad thing about it. I hate showing you guys decks where there's epics in it, because then you can't actually, you can't request, okay... So he's going to play the Lava Hound. We'll try to get our Inferno out to deal with it. I wish I'd have waited a minute. I could have got that. At least we were able to get the... Look at that. I didn't even look at his tower. His tower is already down. It's all about protecting the expo. If you can protect the expo, you're going to do really good. Now, we, if we wanted, we could play defense the whole time. But just for the sake of the video, I'm going to go ahead. And I like to play my princess on the opposite side. Because if not, she'll go right by the expo. And then he can log it and get tremendous value. So, like right here, I can play the Inferno Tower. I just don't want him to get... So he's getting a lot of damage on that tower over there. That's not good. More damage than I would have liked him to get. I wasn't really paying attention. I was like, eh, I can deal with that. I should have logged that. Oh my god, it's getting so much damage. That's okay. Maybe it'll keep the match alive a little longer and we can have some fun. Mega Minion's so good. I played my Mega Minion bad, though. I should have played that sooner. I shouldn't have played my Princess there. That's what Fire Spirits are for right there. I'm gonna go... I don't like to play my Expo when I'm at... Six elixir, I like to play it at ten or nine. I put those down to distract it. It distracted his mega minion, so my mega minion could kill his. Okay, I knew that would happen. So we got two crowns. I don't know why I dropped those on her such a fun deck um okay let's get into another match these matches are going they feel like they're going quick i don't know if they're really going quick let's do another 2-0 so i think the hog decks have been the hardest for me to deal with um but as long as i don't take too much damage at first all it takes is one expo doink No damage, and then I can play this right there. Oh, that sucked. I just took a lot of damage. See, that's not good. I can't... The Mega Minion's so good because it has such good range. That's why you want to be at 10 Elixir when you drop it. I should just let that stuff die out and reset. But I got greedy, and... I paid for it. Next time, I'll be sure to... Okay. So now I'm going to wait until we get... He's going to drop his Mega Minion. I knew it. 
he messed up so bad right there. He has no idea that he just messed up. But that was his way of killing my uh, expo, and he just used it. So that's another that's another tip I can give you is to try to. Okay, yeah, good rocket, unbelievable. Okay, so now we know he's got the rocket. So we got to catch him out of his rocket cycle. And we can't play anything near the expo or else he'll just rocket it down. So he used seven elixir and we used five. I was trying to catch him off. I hope you guys knew what I was trying to do there. I was trying to catch him off guard. So if he wants to do the princess battle. Oh no, I just messed up. I just gave away a bunch of elixir. Lock on, lock on, lock on, lock on. Nice. We're getting damaged, guys. We gotta kill him here. We can't let him rocket us down. We got him, because he didn't have his rocket. He tried to, he, he took a shortcut and he shouldn't have. He was doing just fine chipping away and he needed to get lucky on a chip. But instead he got greedy and he's like, I gotta start rocketing this tower, I gotta, and that was his only defense against me because I was outplaying him in every step of the way with the, with the expo. I was outplaying him. So that's a little glimpse of the expo deck, guys. I hope you like it. Please don't hate me for playing it. Um, you know, I did say if we won 3 no, well, we'd kit real, we'd kill the super magical chest. So just for you guys and a little bit for myself, even though it would be better for me to wait for the uh, graveyard, I'm going to kill that super magical chest. Let's see what's inside. 22 up we need 22 epics before the last card um, to get a legendary so let's go we can use that gold I love ice spirits yeah cannon collector used to be so good I would have loved that but it's so blah now archers I mean I guess it's cool we almost have them up to level 11 Ooh, I like the ice golems because you can play that in the expo deck. So now we need 23 epics right here or else we're not getting a legendary. Ooh, 22 witches. Nice. So we're getting a legendary, guys. What's it going to be? I hope for ice wizard or minor because we almost got a level 3 ice wizard. Nice. We need one more ice wizard for level 3. That's beautiful. I could play that ice wizard in, the, um, in that deck too, so... Beautiful guys one more ice wizard for level three. I could put that ice wizard right there where that princess is or um, There's so many places I could put the ice wizard I kind of want to keep the ice spirit, but I could put the ice wizard in there And I love these because they're such a distraction I could play those in a mega minion and then his mega minion will shoot like punch the skeletons And then I can kill him with my mega minion. So I just love the distraction of it guys. Um, you know the Inferno Tower is not even really completely necessary. I see some people use the... Now that people are running fast decks, you don't really need the Inferno as much. But Patriots plays it, so I'm going to play it. He knows what he's doing. He's won a lot of tournaments, a lot of challenges with this deck. So 
I'll just keep it the way it is for now, but I could make some substitutions. I'll talk to him. But thank you guys so much for watching. Remember the teamwork makes your dream work. Smash that thumbs up button. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's episode. Peace.